I love the first words of this song. Daybreak Saturday morning. Ain't know where we gotta be going. Waking up with you right next to me. It's, it's Eric. Last night sure was something. Way you gave me all your love. They not. know some things are meant to be. Like you and me. Playing this song, I don't care. It's my Eric. It's one of my kids. It's a good thing. It's Saturday. And I produced this album. And I have permission to play this song. Watch the world just pass on by. Lock the door and let that telephone ring. It's a good thing. We both know Put the phone away. How easy love can slip away. Ain't gonna have a ghost, baby. We believe. Can you and me? It's a good thing. My heart's a true. Every little kiss means I love you. And every single touch still feels brand new. It's a good thing. Okay, we'll end it. We got a 274 people in here. Let's pull the chair up a little bit closer so I can read stuff. Anyway, y'all, sometimes we make mistakes. I made one yesterday. But guess what? I don't let it pull me down. I don't let it I don't let it ruin my day. You say I'm sorry and you move on. I apologize. I don't usually say I'm sorry. I I usually just say I apologize. So folks, get over yourself. Recognize when you make a mistake and move on. Don't beat yourself up. Don't add a butt to it. Just say, I apologize and move on. Where do we find that song? It's on an album called Why Not Today. Imagine that. Why Not Today, right there. I produced the album. Uh, Eric named it with, my, with mine and Amy's song, Why Not Today. I'll never forget when he told me what he was going to name the album because we'd been listening to songs, trying to pick songs for, for the album. And he said, I want to name the album Why Not Today. And I said, really? <laughs> I was all excited. Yeah, purple is my color. So I think we were on an airplane when he told me that. Yeah, he said, I think I want to name He was sitting right behind Mich Michelle and I. And he said, I think I want to name the Name the album, Why Not Today? You know, I might not be able to watch, remember what we watched on TV last night, but I can remember that because it was a big moment. And I really like Facebook memories. This morning, a memory of my, my mother and dad, a picture of their wedding day standing in front of on, on the pulpit of the, or whatever it's called, at our little church in, in Bell City, Kentucky. Now, I wasn't born yet. It was two years before. It was, yeah, about two years before I was born. Maybe a year and a half. Anyway, um, they were standing in front of, you know, one of those arches was in front of the baptistry at the little church I grew up in in Bell City, Kentucky. And it was the same baptistry that I was baptized in when I was 14 years old. Yeah, it was um, <clears throat> it was uh, kind of a algae-laden <laughs> baptistry. I would have much rather gone to some pond somewhere. 
I don't even remember the date. I don't know what time. I don't know the date or anything. Maybe Granny has it in her Bible. I'll have to check with Patty. I think Patty has Granny's Bible. But, um, yeah, it was... I remember singing the, singing the song, sitting in... I remember where we used to sit in church, and I remember the orphanage that used to come to the church. We, my, my grandfather was a trustee at this or, orphanage, and he helped build... Uh, he helped build the um, the dormitories, and we used to have a big Easter egg hunt, and it was always so much fun to go to the 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 Paradise Friendly Home, is what it was called. And there was seventy or eighty children there, and they each. I remember my grandfather used to be the person. He was he was. Um, a deacon in the church. He was not an elder. He was a deacon in the church because he didn't have any children of his own. We were um, step-grandchildren and mother was a stepchild, but he married my grandmother when when mother was about 10 years old, eight or 10, because her husband died when mama was eight. And so they remarried shortly after the war and papa was a good man, a really good man, and he took good care of all of us. And but it was his job to count the collection plate every every Sunday. And uh, Sunday dinner would run late because he would have to count everything. And and each collection day, each Sunday, when the collection plate was passed around, um, Mr. Murdoch would always hand the children of the uh, orphanage a silver dollar. A silver dollar and the kids put the silver dollar in the tray a coin in the tray and then after church was over he, he would write a check to the church for how many silver dollars there were and you know he knew if somebody kept their silver dollar <laughs> because he would take all he would take the silver dollars back and use them again the next the next Sunday and it was just a, a lovely place to grow up. It was a small church. I don't even think there were 60 people that went to the church. Uh, I don't know how to turn on closed caption, captioning, y'all. I have looked and looked and looked, and I have no way. I have, don't know how to turn it on. So if you know how to turn it on, let me know, because I don't know how to turn it on. And it was just a, a beautiful place to grow up. Uh, a friend of mine from elementary school, I went to school four years in Graves County, Kentucky, uh, first through the fourth grade. And uh, Jimmy Dale McEwen, he posted a picture of putting tobacco on sticks up in the barn this morning. And the smell came back to me of sitting in, in the barn taking tobacco and wrapping it up to go on these sticks. And it was just the smell of that barn. It was just amazing to, you know, smells have great memories. I have, um, every night before I go to bed, I always wash my hands because I sleep with my hands kind of like this and I want clean hands on my face. And, and I use a, uh, Jergens hand soap. And when I put it on my hands and rub my hands together under warm water, I smell my grandmother. Just these, these smells. And it reminds me of Granny using Jergens lotion. And I think it's sort of an almond scent, but I don't, I, I don't know what it is, but the smell is so powerful, just so powerful. And it's just those memories in those smells are are precious. So anytime something evokes a memory in you from a smell, please follow that smell because it's a good thing. <laughs> it's a really good thing to to evoke those memories. And I remember some pictures of Mother's Wedding Day, going back to the picture that I posted this morning on my Facebook page. My, my mother had their, now this, this is a small little community wedding, cherry almond, that's a smell. Um, 
<clears throat> my mom and dad had a wedding cake and it was sitting on my grandmother's dining table. And they were standing in front of the kitchen sink that I remember being given a bath in as a small child, as a, you know, a two-year-old. I remember being in that sink. It's the sink that my grandmother shined every day. Every day, she shined that sink. And it was just absolutely a beautiful memory. I, I didn't have that picture in front of me. I've seen the picture, but the wedding picture of my parents and then the, the picture of their wedding and the reception made me think of that kitchen table, that beautiful kitchen table. It was just a Formica table. I, it wasn't anything special, but my granny taught me how to sew on that table. She would put, lay the fabric out and she had a, a, a pattern for pajamas that she made herself. She used to work in a sewing mill in Mayfield, Kentucky. And I can't remember the name of the sewing mill, but I remember where it was. <laughs> and it was just, she would lay the pattern out on, on the fabric, the cotton fabric, and she would take dinner knives, just butter knives, and lay on the pattern, and we would use that to cut around the pattern. So it's just... I remember that table. I remember my grandfather, Papa, sitting at that table with a p cup that he had during World War II. A military cup. It had U.S. on the bottom of it. And it was gold colored. I remember him drinking his coffee out of that cup. So bring back the memories. You know, if something sparks a memory, follow those and, and just... Enjoy the process because, and share the process with others like I'm sharing with you. It's not a dream. It's something that happened in your life. And write it down for your family. Just know, and, and I remember, and I gave, my, I gave this ring to, to my granddaughter. Um, when Papa died, he had brought Granny back from the war a cameo bracelet a cameo bracelet, it had lots of little cameos. And I remember playing with that bracelet. As a little kid, I remember the drawer Granny kept her jewelry in. And she had a lot of costume jewelry, but this cameo bracelet was something he brought back from Europe. And it was, it was beautiful. And I think I had a necklace and a, a, uh, a ring out of it. And it was, it was absolutely lovely. We had these rings made. And Granny wore hers until she died. Yeah, she wore it till she died. Because it reminded her of Frank, as it was his name, Frank McClure. So folks, when you have a memory, explore the memory. Let it take you down memory lane and... Love those people, because my granny, I don't think I'd be here if it hadn't been for my granny. Because we would go to her house every weekend, every weekend, and she would take us to church. And Patty and I slept in the very back bedroom, which was right off of the bathroom. It was just an add-on to the house. It was just big enough for a bed for us to get into. And I remember this picture that's on the wall. That was made at Granny's house. So be a good grandmother. Give your grandchildren memories. Make That's what today's all about is making memories, y'all. And I've gone down memory lane with you on the things that, the wonderful things. I remember um, <clears throat> washing clothes. Granny worked all week and on Saturdays she would wash clothes and she had a ringer washing machine. And then when the clothes would get through 
Washington, we'd have to, she would put them through the wringer because she didn't want our fingers to get hung up in it. And then we would catch them on the other side and rinse them, and then we'd do it again and wring the water out, and we would hang them on the clothesline. So it's just following those memories and enjoying the process of, you know, going down memory lane. It's just beautiful. So make some memories with your family. Do it. Make some memories. And that's what today's all about, is making those memories. So have some fun today. Get your routines done as quick as... Now, Granny didn't live in Tiptonville. Granny lived in Kentucky. She lived in Graves County, Kentucky. She was born in Graves County, Kentucky, and she died in Graves County, Kentucky. She, she would go on trips. She says, travel when you're able. Not many of us are traveling right now, but she used to love to go on bus bus trips with with the ladies. And they went up into Massachusetts and lots of places. But she was she lived she was almost a hundred. She was ninety eight, almost ninety nine when she passed away. She had one sister that lived to be a hundred, Aunt Carl. But you know, our grannies are are good. She prayed for us every day. She took good care of us when we were with her. Tri-C is real close to, yeah, my dad was from Murray. My mother went to college in Murray. They met at a, at a, 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 a county fair in, in Graves County, Kentucky. So Tri-City, yeah, Tri-City and my mother was born on the state line of Kentucky and Tennessee in Palmersville, Kentucky. She, my great-grandmother, Granny Pickard, which I posted a picture of yesterday. I have her nose, by the way. <laughs> I think I have her little jowls, too. Because she used to, you know, tobacco juice would run down her mouth right here. And if I chew gum, I get a little saliva going right there. <laughs> Uh, my cousin, Chad, uh, works in the Murray school system. He is, um, a, he teaches them how to do welding and stuff. So, folks, make some memories with your grandchildren, with your children. Get outside. If it's not raining, it's not raining right here today. But those of you who live in the Gulf from... Corpus Christi, Texas, all the way down to Key West, Florida. You got a surprise coming. Check your weather. There's two hurricanes that are forming that are expected to hit the Gulf at the same time. At the same time. On Monday or Tuesday. So, please, please, please. Please be aware of the weather. It's um, Laura is one storm and Marco is the other. Laura and Marco. So check it out. My favorite favorite um, guys, Mike's weather page on Facebook. He is absolutely amazing. He he does weather as a hobby. But my son loves him because his website, Tropical Tidbits, is all the links you ever want. And he gives a, a little podcast every day about the storms. So I don't think we've ever had two storms hit at the same time. And, you know, after this year, what else is there? You know, storms have come from opposite sides and landed on Transylvania County. So, folks, get your calendars ordered. They are going fast. We have we had a ton of orders yesterday for calendars. Use coupon code CLEAN25 to save 25%. Get the calendar pack. You're going to love it. This is the difference in sizes. This one is for the whole family. It's huge. 
but this one is for your personal stuff. Leanne likes to keep her measurements in it when we do the hot melt sprint every zone two. And then I like to do contact tracing in it. I write down where we've been for dinner. So folks, get your calendars. The mop, our big purple mop, this is on sale right now. Any way you need to get the mop, whether it's just the head or the um, head and handle or the head and handle and an extra cloth, it's all on sale. It's all on sale. You can get just the head by itself for 12 bucks. You can't beat that at all. So folks, have some fun today. Get out there and enjoy making memories with your family because that's what that's what today's all about. It is. So be safe. Be aware of the weather. Get an app on your phone and sign up for alerts from the, from the National Weather Service. And that way, if there's a tornado being spun from one of these, these hurricanes, you'll know it. And there's other storms across the country. And there's fires in California. So be safe out there and be prepared to evacuate if you need to. If you know water gets high in your area, don't stick around. Don't do it. Take your mask, take your hand sanitizer, and be safe. Because the storms are coming. Goodness knows we have lived through some rough ones this year. But we're going to be safe, and we're going to take care of things. And be ready to evacuate. Because I told you yesterday about the lady who evacuated with the fire and forgot her insulin, for goodness sakes. She forgot her insulin. So take care. Sit down right now and make a list of the things you need to take with you. You got that? What? Clothes? Just a simple bag of a couple of changes of clothes if you're being evacuated because you can find some way to wash them. And then um, your medications, your important contact numbers because cell phones might not work, your cell phone charger, backup battery. So write these things down. And get, get your go bag started. Don't forget the baby's binky and the baby's favorite toys. Just simple things. A, a package of, uh, of playing cards and maybe Uno for the little ones. Yes, a, a good book and maybe your good book, you know? And, and maybe your Bible. I would hate to lose my Bible. So folks, make some memories. Be prepared to evacuate if you need to. Don't wait until the, the roads are all backed up and you can't get out of your area. Keep your gas tank filled. Get your prescriptions filled right now. Do this. You're going to be calm and collected. You're not going to be spastic and leave your insulin. Write down everything that you need right now. If you look for the points of preparedness, if you have our control journal, that essay's in it. If you do a search for, it's a, it's a bunch of P's from petrol to your purse. Don't forget your purse. Yeah, we can we can take we can take care of ourselves. We don't have to stick around. And if you need to evacuate, be ready to put the things in your car that you need to take with you. You know, stuff can be replaced. Those old pictures can't be replaced unless you've got them back if you've taken pictures of them and put them up somewhere. So grab your scrapbooks and and just get out of the house. Yeah. I love you all. I will see you at 3 o'clock. 
It's tea time. And guess what? I found some tea yesterday. I found a little stash of tea at the office. So I'm going to have tea today. I apologize for that, that you don't have tea. Yep. But I will have some good tea because hopefully by the end of the month, we'll have our tea. Promo code for the for all the things in our fly shop except things that are already deeply discounted is CLEAN25. You just put it in your cart and anything you put in your cart that's not already eligible, anything that can get the code will get the code because it works. We've had it for almost a year, almost six months now uh, because it's a great... We're, that's what we're trying to do is get our houses clean. And we have the best tools in the world. And one of the the best packages we have in our fly shop is our Back to Basics package. Our Back to Basics package. It's $49.95. And it is everything you need. Let me see if I can find it. Fly shop. Back to Basics package has the Rubba Scrubba, our regular mop, not the big purple mop, but it has our regular mop, two chenille mop cloths, purple rags, the swish and swipe vase and the Rubba Swisha, the Rubba Broom, and a handle. It's $49.95. It's regular $121.64. $49.95 will get you all of this stuff. It's great for kids going off to school. It's just right for them to clean their rooms. It's every and throw in a calendar while you're there. You can't take a discount on the, the back to basics package, but you can on the calendar. So put in clean 25. It is a great package for somebody just getting married. Or somebody that's moving into their own, what's the rubber broom used for? Oh my goodness. It's for sweeping the floor, or sweeping your porch, or scrubbing your bathroom floor, which is what I use mine for. And if you ever break a glass and glass goes everywhere, this thing gets up every little piece of glass. Every little piece. So please share our videos. Thank you so much. Let's make some memories today. Get some stuff ordered that you need. Soap is soap. I've, I've thought about making Fly Lady cleaners, but I really don't believe in them and I don't like them. I use Windex. I use a dollar canister of Comet. I use water. And Dawn dishwashing liquid. And you can't beat Dawn dishwashing liquid. So, soap is soap. If you've got old shampoos in your shower, old shampoos in your shower with just this much in a bottle, put that much, same amount of water in it, shake it up, put it in your toilet. Put it in your toilet bowl brush holder. That's why we have a vase. I keep old shampoos and stuff in my toilet bowl brush holder. Um... But I ran out of all those things. And so I used Dawn dishwashing. I used antibacterial Dawn dishwashing liquid with the same amount of water in there. So if you put two cups of Dawn in there, put two cups of water, and you've got a nice little solution. Sometimes I have to keep adding water because I don't have a lid on, on my... I have a big crock that I keep mine in. A little base that I got. So folks, make some memories today. Be safe. And I'll see you at 3 o'clock. Leanne will be on at 1 o'clock. And let's get some stuff done with our families. See you later.